Hi! You are about to watch a short video on the Singapore Purchasing Managers Index, PMI. First, let me give you a brief background history on the Purchasing Managers Index. The idea of having an index that could predict a recession was first mooted by U.S. President Franklin Roosevelt during the period of Great Depression that began in 1929. President Franklin Roosevelt led the United States during a time of worldwide economic depression and total war. The United States, U.S., then became the first country to produce the Purchasing Managers Index, PMI, in 1948, and is produced by the Institute for Supply Management, ISM. The United Kingdom, UK, became the second country to produce the Purchasing Managers Index, PMI, in 1991, and is produced by the Chartered Institute of Purchasing and Supply, CIPS. The Singapore PMI was developed in 1998 by Professor Poe from the Singapore Institute of Purchasing and Materials Management, SIPMM. After successful trials, the Singapore PMI was officially launched in January 1999. Since then, the Singapore PMI has become a key barometer of the Singapore economy and is closely watched by economists, analysts, and media agencies worldwide. In 2002, China government officials sought the advice of Professor Po to develop the China PMI. About 300 senior economists attended a special one-week session on PMI conducted by Professor Po. China PMI was officially launched in 2002 and is produced by China Federation of Logistics and Purchasing, CFLP. Since then, the official China PMI has been closely watched all over the world. The Singapore Purchasing Managers Index, PMI, is an indicator of the economic health of the Singapore manufacturing sector. The Singapore PMI provides information about current business conditions to company decision makers, analysts, and managers. The Singapore Institute of Purchasing and Materials Management, SIPMM, compiles the PMI each month by polling more than 200 purchasing managers from both public and private manufacturing companies. The Singapore PMI is a composite index based on the diffusion indexes of five key areas relevant to the manufacturing business with varying weights. The five diffusion indexes computed in the composite PMI are 1. Production output 2. New orders 3. Supplier deliveries 4. Inventories and 5. Employment The five diffusion indexes that are not computed but relevant are 1. New exports 2. Finished goods 3. Imports 4. Input prices and 5. Order backlog The diffusion indexes have the properties of leading indicators and provide quick and summarized information. Such information 
depict the prevailing direction of change as well as the scope of change. Our PMI measurement of 50 indicates a balanced sentiment going forward. In other words, an equal number of respondents are reporting positive and negative results. Our PMI measurement of above 50 indicates an expansion of the manufacturing sector compared to the previous month. Below is a diagram showing the manufacturing sector is expanding. Our PMI measurement of under 50 indicates a contraction of the manufacturing sector compared to the previous month. Below is a diagram showing the manufacturing sector is contracting. Economists view the Singapore PMI as an important indicator for the economy as a whole, not just the manufacturing industry. This is because, manufacturing, while no longer a large part of the economy, is still a leading indicator, that predicts recession, or expansion. The Singapore Institute of Purchasing and Materials Management, SIPMM, has been reporting the Singapore PMI, every month, since 1998. Thank you for watching this short video on Singapore Purchasing Managers Index.